Hey everyone, I'm 365 Days of Horsemanship, day 322 and 323. Um, so I just thought I would talk a little bit today about, um, I think self-care, but I think also really bringing authenticity to the horses. Um, yesterday I had a 12 hour shift and I was super tired afterwards, but I was really proud of myself because I made it up, um, to see the horses and I literally just chilled with both of them, um, just sat in the field with Lawrence, um, for probably 10 minutes, um, and then went and sat with Mia and Mia was actually quite interactive. She wanted to come over and kind of have a little conversation with me while I was sitting down and and that was really nice too. I wasn't there for very long, but I definitely felt energised and refreshed um, from being there. And yeah, and then today I finished super late, um, got a really late job and um, I'm just totally knackered now. Um, and so today I'm just chilling. Um, I'm going to work a little bit on some blog posts um, that I want to post at some point, um, and just kind of let myself chill and veg and reflect. Um, and I just wanted to kind of talk about, I think the beauty of allowing myself to remain in my feelings, um, and in, in a place where I, am being open with myself and therefore able to be open with the horses about my energy because I think there's a significant difference, a significant noticeable difference in the level of connection and openness that I feel between us. Um, like even yesterday, you know, like the moments that I had particularly with Mia, but I also really appreciated the fact that I kind of pretty much came in to the field where Lawrence was and just sat down. And throughout the time I was with him, he came closer and closer and closer to me. Um, and I really appreciated that. And then with Mia, she wanted to come right up and have a whole conversation with me. And I really appreciated that too. And just, I think when I met them with real authenticity and wasn't kind of masking the way I was really feeling in order to try to achieve a task or do something with them, um, I actually found that I felt much more connected to their energy and I felt much more like it was a, a, an inv like a sort of environmental kind of peace between us. There was this, just this acceptance of the two of us being in the same space and me kind of doing my thing and them kind of doing their thing or us having a conversation, you know, when Mia was motivated to do so. And I actually found that much more intrinsically rewarding than trying to make myself achieve a task that I wasn't really going to feel good about in order to have achieved the task and be able to say, well, good for you that you achieved the task. Um, and I think that practicing that mindset is really powerful for me and I really want to recognize that actually you know even today when I'm not going to go up and see them because I can really feel that I actually just need to lie down like I just my body just needs to rest um I've still got you know three more shifts to go this week and tomorrow I'm starting a bit later so um I'm hoping that if I can just really rest tonight then I'll be able to get up early tomorrow um, and see my horses in the morning, see them both in the morning before my shift. Um, and yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to them having me at a time of day where I'm much more energetic. And so I feel like it comes back to me, for me, it comes back to this, feeling of I think I've experienced this before so for example um I might have a book I want to read um for example I want to read the scented riding book by Sally Swift um I still haven't finished um training the young horse by um Rainer Klimke which is still on my list um 
there's oh god so many books on my list to read and videos to catch up on i got a bunch of videos on elsa's patreon that i want to catch up on and i put these things on my sort of mental to-do list mental wish list and and then i never give myself the time to do them because in order to feel like I have the time to do those things, I need to actually commit the time to being involved in doing those things. And I think this feeling of being connected to myself is, is sort of part of that same process where it's actually like allowing myself the time. If I want to get better at being present in the moment with my horses, I need to practice being present in the moment. And that's not always going to allow for me to be able to achieve all these things that I put on my daily to-do list that is really an impossible amount of things to achieve every single day. Um, and, and allowing myself this time to say, actually, what I'm doing today that is progressive for my horsemanship, what I'm doing today that is a part of my journey of never-ending self-growth, and what I'm doing today that is benefiting my relationship with my horses is practicing being in tune with myself and my emotions, practicing emotional regulation and practicing being aware of how I'm feeling, listening to myself and acting accordingly. Because actually those are the skills that I need to take into my sessions with the horses. And actually this time is really valuable in that way and allowing myself to find aspects of my day which are beneficial to my time with the horses where I feel like I'm doing an active session I think is a really positive change for me and I'm really proud and happy and pleased to be able to feel like I'm in that place with it and I think it's such a more positive mindset to be in like especially when the the alternative for me anyway is just to do it anyway and feel bad about it you know, I'm going to lie down here. I know that's going to happen. You know, I know that today is a day that I'm going to be like, I just, I just need to be at home and just lie down and just rest. I've had a really long day and I just need to rest. And knowing that I'm going to do that anyway, I have two choices. I can either make myself feel bad about it and overthink and overstress about the fact that I'm not with the horses, or I can reflect on how this activity is something that actually is really beneficial and actually how I should be happy about it and that is a much more positive frame of mind to be in it is really much more helpful for carrying my mental health through times of tiredness and times of fatigue um, because I'm definitely not a person who finds it easy to be tired um, I find physical tiredness just irritating and frustrating and I just don't really frankly don't really understand why I can't just live in a robot body where I never have any physical needs and I can just do what I want all the time um so learning to love my body in that way and learning to love my body's need for rest um is a really important part of I think the journey of taming my wild and learning patience because patience starts with yourself you know um learning to be patient with myself first um, and be patient with my own needs is actually a really great exercise if I need to um, practice my patience with the horses. And actually, that's really sort of the second sort of strand of the rope of all the positivity today. So, so yeah, so I'm really pleased, um, to be honest. I feel like it's a bit of a... A revelation in a sense um but yeah just really a new perspective so yeah i am gonna chill now take this time to rest um and just be and yeah hopefully get a lovely early night um and be able to go and hang out with the horses in the morning <laughs>